Hello everyone. This is the Boss Professional GTC 400C thermal camera. According to the manufacturer, this is a thermal imaging equipment designed for contactless measurements of surface temperature. It is ideal for inspecting insulation, heating systems, heat flow, and for finding overheated parts. Originally, it came with this fabric carrying case. I bought this way back uh, 2018 from one of uh, Boss official distributors located along Araneta Avenue in Quezon City. It came with this uh, quick user's guide. The manufacturer certificate. and user's manual. The fabric carrying case is not that bad, but for an equipment as sensitive and as, I would say, delicate as a thermal imaging camera, a hard carrying case I think is much better and for that reason I uh, bought a separate hard carrying case for it. The original purchase also included this USB cable which is used to transfer data from the uh, thermal imaging camera to the computer. The original purchase also included this AA power adapter. Now even though Boss supplied this AA battery adapter for its uh, GTC400C thermal camera, if you already have any of these Boss 12 volt cordless power tools then you are in a better position these tools have a 12 volt cordless battery system which are lithium rechargeable batteries and they are interchangeable you can use the same battery that runs this power drill on the GTC 400C And this kind of uh, cordless uh, battery system is actually much better for the uh, DTC 400C than the AA battery adapter. However, this isn't bad. But for my main uh, battery, I use the 12 volt cordless lithium rechargeable batteries. In fact, I would uh, propose that the compatibility of the 12 volt cordless battery system with the GTC 400C thermal camera, I think is one of the best features of uh, the Boss uh, thermal camera GTC 400C. It's very smart battery system. To demonstrate the capability of the GTC 400C running on the included AA battery adapter, I'm going to uh, install four AAA batteries here, power on the equipment and survey its different parts and functions.
So here are the main parts of the camera. This is the color TFT screen. It has a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. This is the uh, protective cover of the lenses. The camera has two kinds of lenses. The upper one is the visual lens camera and the other one is the infrared sensor camera. This is the heart of the thermal image camera. The IR sensor has a size of 160 by 120 pixels. However, when you export the IR image to the computer, the resulting image has a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. So you have a bit more room to work on. There is a physical distance between the IR sensor and the visual image lens. This means that the image captured by the visual image camera and the one captured by the IR sensor do not exactly align. Fortunately, in the uh, BOSS desktop application GTC transfer software, there is a uh, facility or a function where we can manipulate the uh, two images so that they could align to a certain degree. This is the rubberized handle which is very com comfortable to hold. The AA battery adapter, the hand strap which was also included during the initial purchase, and the function buttons. Within the image area, there are three kinds of crosshairs. The center crosshair which is fixed, where, which you can point to any object you want to measure. The second crosshair is the movable crosshair, the red one, and that is the heat seeking crosshair. It will automatically rest on the hottest spot in the image area. And the third, this is the blue crosshair, which will automatically detect or search for the coldest point in the image area and rest there. So you can move the instrument in which way you want. And the two crosshairs, the blue and the red one, will always stay where the, uh, the coldest and hottest spot spots are. The thermal camera is controlled by these following buttons. The main function button, the directional arrows, power button, save button, and the uh, prompt buttons, which corresponds to certain icons below the image, below the image area. And this is the hold or the trigger button to temporarily freeze the image on screen, allowing us to save to memory. The thermo camera has several color schemes. Allowing the operator to select which one best suit his particular application. The thermo camera also has several transparency settings. Allowing the operator to isolate and focus on certain areas. The transparency setting coupled with the different uh, color schemes for the heat signatures allows the operator better control of the measurement. This is how to adjust the various settings of the camera using the function button. From here we can select uh, automatic measurement, manual, cold detector or heat detector. For most applications, the automatic function should suffice. And from here, we can also change the uh, setting for the emissivity value. There are various presets here like concrete, mortar, roofing tiles, but if you wish, you can use your own user-defined emissivity value. For the reflected temperature, this would be the ambient temperature. It says uh, 31.4 on my uh, mini thermometer, so I can change this now from 30 to 31. And from here, I can also turn on or off the various crosshairs. Wi-Fi, on or off. The Wi-Fi is used to transfer data from this 
a thermal camera to a mobile device like a smartphone. For transferring data to a laptop or a desktop computer, the USB cable is always used. We can also set the language, date and time, and various other settings. The image being measured can be instantly saved using the save button. Or if you wish, we can freeze the uh, image first using the trigger button and examine the, uh, the values before saving it to memory. To transfer data to a laptop, we need to connect the USB cable to the instrument. Now I have skipped uh, some steps here and go directly to the Open Boss GTC transfer software so uh, I can demonstrate briefly how to post process the data using uh, actual images that I have taken from the field. This is just for educational purposes. As you may have already noticed, uh, one limitation of the GTC 400C is that it uses a fixed focusing system and a fixed focal length. What this means is that you cannot use a zoom lens or for zooming in and out of an image and you cannot fine-tune focus. The advantage of that, however, is that this makes the instrument very fast. Since you don't have to fiddle with manual focusing or a zoom lens, you just point and shoot at your subject. This makes the GTC 400C very fast in taking measurements. Now the thermal camera GTC 400C has no provision for an external SD card. It only has an internal storage which is capable of storing 500 images and this is composed of 250 pairs. 
every time we save a measurement, the instrument captures two images at once, the visual image and the infrared image. So that's a total of 250 pairs or 500 images. To recap, there are certainly more capable thermographic inspection cameras out there from big name manufacturers with matching hefty price tags. But the GTC 400C from BOSS is perhaps one of the best thermal cameras in its class. It's fast, easy to use, extensive scanning options at your fingertips and a flexible battery system that is second to none. There were limitations in terms of fixed lenses, storage and warranty of only 6 months when I bought it in 2018, but its price to performance ratio is really hard to beat. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.